For those times when you absolutely, positively need to protect your data from evil, volcano, lair-based mad scientist types, Apple's got you covered with File Vault 2. Hi, I'm Erica, and today our data security series will be looking at how to utilize a pretty serious bit of data encryption built right into your OS. File Vault 2 is an update of the original File Vault system that turns your startup drive into a veritable fortress. It uses heavy AES encryption to protect your data. Access to the encrypted data is provided via the user's password or a recovery key, which is generated at the time it's set up. With that being said, it's important to read up fully on just what you're getting into before diving in. Heavy encryption like this requires the absolute need to have your password on hand at all times. And once you've started encrypting the data, you've just got to let it run its course. The initial setup can take a considerable amount of time, depending on how much data is on your drive, since File Vault 2 will literally encrypt every single bit and byte. However, after the initial setup is completed, encryption and decryption are performed on the fly as files are accessed and saved. To set up File Vault, launch System Preferences, select Security and Privacy Preference pane, select the File Vault tab, click the lock in the bottom left-hand corner, provide your administrator password, Click the Turn On File Vault button. A sheet will drop down offering two methods of acquiring a recovery key. The recovery key is used to unlock an encrypted startup disk should you forget your login password. When all said and done, your drive is about as secure as it can be. Just remember, there is a very real possibility of permanently losing access to your data if you forget your password and recovery key. But that risk is actually testament to just how secure your drive and data actually are when using File Vault 2. Again, we're really just getting started as to what you can do to keep your data safe and sound. Make sure you stick with us for our next episode when we take a run through some major barricades you can put in place to keep data thieves out. So that's all for now, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. I'll see you next time.